All right. So, Bill, if you want to take it away, you can share your screen. Yep. Let me just uh, click on share. Okay, I think everyone can see. Uh, Perfect. So welcome to the KW Marketing Center screen here. So, hi, I'm Bill Clark. I'm with uh, Prison Digital. We are the owner operators of the KWMarketingCenter.com online website that is available to everyone at Park Views, as well as about 35 other KW Marketing Centers uh, all up and down the East Coast into New York, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware, et cetera. Um, and Roberto, who is with me today from prison, is over at, actually at your market center on Wednesdays to assist anyone that wants to um, stop by to see him, talk about any of their um, challenges, questions they might have in, 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 in using, our, using our system, helping them to grow their business. You know, as you see here, the whole purpose of this is designed to help you acquire customers, generate leads, grow your brand, and your business. And we do this through the use of integrated print marketing and direct mail. So a lot of you probably already have accounts set up on the system to get to your account. All you need to do is go to the URL, kwmarketingcenter.com and put in your user ID, which will be your email. It's generally, if we've preset your account up in the past, it'll be the email we got from your roster from the Parkview's Market Center. And if we set your account up in the past, your initial password will be the word password. You have the ability to change that through your personal account settings. If it doesn't work, there is a, a button to click to have an email to you. And if all else fails, I put my name and contact information in the chat. Again, Roberto's available as well, but that'll get you into your account. Um, to log in. Once you're logged in, you're going to want to go to your menu drop down, which you'll see in the upper right. You see, I threw a headshot in here in my account, and you'll see this in the upper right of the screen. And I'll pull up the live site in a moment after I go through this document. And here you're going to be able to access a number of different things, again, in your own personal account from any items you have saved that you've been working on, your, any photos you've uploaded any mailing lists that you've created, which will store in your account automatically until such time you decide you want to take them out or anything you've ordered will be in your order history. There's a scheduled mailing tool, which I'll touch on briefly in a bit and the ability to manage any listings that you have. There's a campaign summary dashboard, which I'm going to show you in a second, a live example of that. And then your account setting tabs. And this is what you're going to want to do to make sure you have some certain information in your accounts. So you're going to click on account settings, and then this screen will open up. And here you can check on your, your security information for your email. You want to upload your headshot so that can be used on any of your print and, and marketing material where you want to have your photo, which I think is important to let people see you. Uh, set up your payment methods for any orders that you have. Then the other key sections here is um, any email notifications for things like leads that we're going to send you through our QR code tracking off of our automated programs. If there's someone else, if you're on a team and you want to have an admin to also get notifications, you'll see that you can add that in the email notification section. Uh, next is the text notifications. This is a new feature that we've added. So you want to go and tick, click on this and turn it on. Um, I'm going to show you examples of our QR code tracking. So, so now not only do we email you when someone scans a QR code on one of your marketing pieces that you mail in the just listed or just sold or with our custom templates, but you can also get a text notification of that hit from a mailing uh, that you did to a particular address that now capture that lead. And then you want to go into your MLS registration, click on that. You're gonna see the drop down where you can choose 
uh, Garden State or NJMLS or Hudson County MLS. You want to put your MLS ID number on there, which we use to match with our nightly feeds from these MLS systems to generate our automated just listed, just sold postcards that are available to you through our just listed, just sold program. And then last is the website redirection where you want to put in here any websites that you want to automatically have QR codes directed to when you are marketing to them through one of our mail programs, whether it's just listed, just sold, or our regular template cards that have QR code tracking capability. And again, I'm going to show you an example of that. On the home page, when you log in, this is this view that you will see. So it will welcome you back with your name. If your headshot's already in, you'll see it here in the upper right. And then here is that menu drop down that I was just showing you those screenshots of. You'll have a number of things that you can click on to log in to do, i.e. create a postcard mailing, create a brochure for any open houses that you might have coming up. Anything that we have coming soon would be in this section here. And then our just listed, just sold program and our <clears throat> easy auto farm program so that even if you're a new agent and you're looking to develop a presence in a particular area, um, you can use our templates. Roberto can help you set up with creating a, a mailing list for you, or we can upload your own mailing list to where you can now start to generate some interest about yourself, introducing yourself to a community, to a, a prospect or farm list that you might have. And literally you could set up a farming program with a variety of different template ideas so that now you're keeping yourself in front of this audience uh, on a on a, a timely basis i.e monthly every six weeks um, in, in that type of fashion to generate that presence so that you become top of mind when that part of your audience decides that yeah i am thinking of listing or or, or selling my property they're going to think of you um, when it comes to print and direct mail marketing um, which is what we specialize in. Um, we highly encourage you to consider this as part of your marketing program and your marketing strategy. I know you have other tools through KW Command and some other services that you can do e-blast, you can do social media, et cetera. There are some aspects to our integrated marketing in our automated programs that you can link to your social media accounts. But <clears throat> you should consider this to be part of your arsenal of weapons. Um, why do I say that? Be because it works. Um, just in the Keller Williams family alone, we have producers ranging from two to 5 million annual gross transactions to a hundred million plus um, that are all using direct mail. Why are they using it? Because it works. And just because they built up huge businesses, we have an agent up in Ridgewood that's doing over hundred million. That is, religiously sending out direct mail postcards on a monthly basis and has built up to where last seven years they've been, and they weren't doing a hundred million seven years ago, but they're sending out 18,000 postcards a month and blanketing four plus towns in the Burton County area um, because it works. Uh, and that's just not the only thing they do, but it's part of their arsenal. So the, the just listed and the just sold program features a pre-made card that we automatically create. We create a list around your property address. We give you an offer to send out these 100 cards. So it's just as simple. You get the email, you click through it, or you can go into your account if you've missed the email and access that. And I'll show you where that is. There's a call to action on the card on the just listed program that will put them into a, a personalized web page. We're now tracking that visit to that page. So even if they don't interact and do anything else, you'll know that that particular address was there. We give you a branded video tour after you order that loads into your account that you can utilize if you like. You can change photos, you can change captions under the photos, you can post this to your Facebook and Twitter accounts, et cetera. And then we have a campaign dashboard for all of our QR, QR code tracked mailings that you can access through your account to make sure that you are uh, keeping track of all of that, all of your leads. And like I mentioned before, we have this new text notification for all these QR code projects that you can also get once a QR code is scanned. 
And additionally, from the homepage, you can access templates for business cards. So any of you that have been just coming on recently and got a card, you probably went in and, and used the system to get your initial business cards, uh, brochures, set up, as I said, farming programs, QR code tracking, manage all this through your campaign dashboard. And this is where you can click right through to access all of those assets. Lastly, we have a very powerful backend data component to the system so that you could create pre address lists, upload your own lists, manage them within the system, rent targeted lists through our, through our targeted data capability with a contract that we have with a company, USA Data. They're a national database company and we make that data available to you. So if you wanna do targeted marketing, you have the ability through pulling up a particular zip code. You can go into a town, for instance, and find out all the homeowners that are between the ages of 35 and 45 and have presence of children and own a home, but might be a good target for thinking about maybe moving up as their family is growing. Or you go in and run account for that town for all senior citizens that own homes um, <clears throat> and have been in them for more than seven, eight, 10 plus years and target a program centered around thinking of downsizing or something like that. So, and these are all things that we can speak to you with through additional training uh, calls through Zoom, um, or um, I put my information in the chat. Roberto is also always available, but feel free if you ever want to call, email me. This is my text, uh, my cell phone number. I <clears throat> quite frequently will set up Zoom calls to talk with agents, just learn more about their business, what they're looking to do, what they're doing currently, and how we can help them improve upon that. Again, the whole idea is to get you, get you business. So let me do a new share to the marketing center. Let's make sure. Can everybody see the marketing center screen? Yes. Okay, good. Okay. So what I have up here right now is this is <laughs> through my admin tool. This is the home page, but I'm in a, an agent. Her name is Kelly Holmquist. She uses our services all the time. And I pulled this up to show you some examples of the, the automated program and the QR code tracking capability. <clears throat> so when, when you have listings and sales and you log into your home page, anything that is a, a just listed email that we have sent out to you or a just sold offer, you'll see it in this section here under this pending offer tab. And if you click on it, it'll bring you into the system of your account for any of these pre-made designs for the just listed, just sold program for you to then be able to go ahead and order these 100 cards. You can increase the amount of your order if you want, but it will. <clears throat> this is what it will look like. And you'll get an email in the mail in the case of Kelly, she paid us to customize her template a little bit and put her or her own logo on her particular design. So we have the ability to do that as well. And you can see right down here in the front, all we've did is modified this template to add her Homequist logo here. But she gets this offer. She can then <clears throat> order these 100 cards. They will go out with this QR code on the just listed program. And when someone scans that code, it'll automatically point them to a personalized property website that now she will get tracking information to let her know that that particular address visited her website. And now she has that lead. And it's also stored in her campaign dashboard. So in addition to getting that email, she logs into her account and goes to her campaign summary. She's able to come into here, make sure she's not missing any leads and she'll have a summary of all the mailings that she has done with QR codes. So these right up here, these are some initial orders that she's recently done that are in process. If I scroll down here to this particular order for 12 Valley View Road, she sent out a hundred cards and she got a, a couple of scans and if I come into the details section through my account, I'm able to see now who exactly the addresses that went and scanned that QR code. 
And if I click on the address, and you'll have the ability to do this, it will link you into a web page called 411.com that we synced up to this program. And we do this on all of our QR code tracking programs, not just the just listed. And now you'll get additional information on who's at that address. And if you click through on the name of an individual, any other additional information from 401.com will, will show up and you'll have the ability to send that pick up some phone numbers as well. So this becomes a great lead generator for you. In addition to just sending out a card with a call to action, like call, text me, contact me, email me. Some people might not want to do that, but they're curious enough. So they'll just shoot the QR code on their phone. And now we've tracked that for you. Bill, we have a question in the chat. Um, all of the lead, do all of the leads go to the marketing center profile? So all the leads are coming into your campaign summary section on your account from the QR code, any QR code tracking mailings that you do. Additionally, we email you when that scan takes place to the email that's on the account. that will tell you that you just have had a hit. And if you go into your account settings, uh, as I showed you before, and you go to your text notifications that's now added, you can then go ahead and turn that on. In fact, I'm going to turn it on for Kelly because she hasn't done it yet. So now Kelly's going to start getting text notifications on any QR code hits as well. So we're, we're hitting you over the head um, multiple times in addition to giving you the ability to make sure that you didn't miss that email. We send out a weekly email reminder I don't of know. all QR yeah. code scans. So you get the initial one, you get the text, you get a weekly email. A summary of any of your QR code scans, and you have the ability to log into your account, go to your campaign summary anytime you want, click on details to make sure that you're not missing those as well. So other than uh, finding out your address and me showing up and just knocking on your door and telling you, hey, you got to leave, you know, we, we covered that pretty exclusively for you. Awesome. Uh, we do have a second question as well. Um, what exactly is contained in the address book? Okay. Oh, the address book is the ability for you to um, just put in if you wanted to change a, a, a location that you wanted to ship something to when you're ordering a brochure. Um, if you want to build your own list that you want to upload, we recommend that you use Excel. And if you come into your mailing list section on your account setting drop down on your menu bar. So let me quickly go over our list tool. And you would come to this view and you can see in Kelly's account, she has a lot of lists that are already stored, but she can create a new list. So I'm going to create a list in her account and then delete it. So I click create a new mailing list. And if I wanted to upload my own list and click upload, we have a sample download template here for, so for any of you that are fairly sufficient in Excel or a CSV file, you can click down a, a sample template to build your, your prospect or farming list. It's very simple. You have a column for name, a column for address, a column for city, a column for state, a column for zip. And then you can select your file and upload it and store it into your account. Our other portions of our list tool, as I mentioned before, is to create free address lists. You can do that by selecting a a radius around an address, uh, a freeform selection around a property address. You can literally come into a, a town by zip code and pick by streets. So as an example, I'll click on the freeform tool. This is defaulting to the Marstown office address for KW. Uh, I'll put in Stone Ridge Lane in Basking Ridge as an example. I click go here. I scroll down on my screen to look at my map. It shows me 10 Stone Ridge Lane. I can blow it up. I can look at a satellite view by uh, using the plus and minus to blow it up. And then in the upper right, if I wanted to look at a satellite view of that 
community in an area. I could hit a satellite view, and then I could literally use my little pin icons to draw the area around my map. So if I want, wanted to be on this side of 78, et cetera, just pull in my pins, outline. This is the area that I want to market to for this property that I just listed or sold as an example. And now I just hit find addresses. And now the system is going to give you that result of 43 addresses that are in this outlined area. And while I pull down my screen, I see the streets that I've selected in that area. Here I have the ability to, have to click and save the list. I can view them individually within the street. So if you are pretty familiar with an area you're marketing to, as an example, and you have a competing agent that you know lives on Beacon Crest Road, you can deselect that if you didn't want them to get your marketing card, as an example. And then you just click, name the list, call it test 2-2, and I save it. And now it's automatically in your account. What you're getting here, this is free, you're getting a free address. When we create that card to mail it out, it's going to say on the first line, our neighbor's at, and then the street address, city, state, and zip. So I'm going to come in here. You can view it on the map, see your addresses on the map. You can, you're not going to have a download button on our free list because uh, we're not, we don't make them available to you for free for obvious reasons that people are just going to use the tool to just get free lists and never do anything else. So on the free list, you don't have the download capability. So I'm going to delete this out of Kelly's account so she's not wondering what the heck that is. Let me quickly show you our targeted data. As I mentioned before, we also do every door direct mail. So if anybody you're doing every door direct mail, you don't have to go to the EDDM site on the US Postal Service any longer. You can create your EDDM list right from your account uh, on, on the system. So go into the targeted tool. Anybody wants to give me a zip code for a town they market to? Anybody? No takers? All right. Uh, 07070. 07070, okay. What town's that? Rutherford. Okay. So we put in 070 for Rutherford. We hit demographic criteria. And now you're gonna see this page and you're gonna have all these demographic categories that you can do a search on to get results for Rutherford. So for instance, if I wanna only target homeowners in Rutherford, I click on it, I select it and I add it to my query. If I wanted to find out people in that homeowner section that have been in their home, like I mentioned before, maybe I'm focusing on people that maybe are looking to retire to Florida. So I'm going to take 10 years and up in home ownership with the assumption that that probably would be a holding period time of someone living there that might be in that category. And age is important if I'm looking for downsizers. So I'm going to come in here and let's say I start at 54 to 55 and I'll go all the way up to 90, 91 and throw in that age criteria. Not really maybe interested in home market value because I'm looking for anybody that's looking to sell and relocate. So I won't put that in, but you could if you wanted to. And now once I do that, I hit get my count. And now in real time, we are hitting up against USA's national database to get you the result of your query. And you'll see we have 2,183 addresses in Rutherford that meet that criteria. And I have the ability to purchase this list on a rental basis for unlimited use for 12 months. And it will download into my account after I check out, agree to the terms and conditions. Which I'll just pull it up the screen. I name my list. I read through the terms and conditions, which are basically agreeing that you're going to only use this for marketing for 12 years. I agree. I purchase it. And now it downloads into my account takes about 30 minutes to an hour at tops, generally, to get into your account. What you get then is name of head of household, address, city, state, zip, and a column for all of these queries that you made. So you'll have a homeowner column, which obviously they all say homeowners, length of residence. You'll see where they fell into this section on the query for that individual address. Same thing with the age. So this could be a very helpful tool if you want to do target marketing. Did that answer the question on the lists? 
Hey, Bill, can you try just uh, 07446? Wait, I got a customized query here, Roberto. That's for, it's for an agent that's requesting. Okay. In the chat. Oh, okay. Targeted lists. 07446. Is that, what is, is that Ramsey? Yes, that's Ramsey. Okay. All right, what do we want to search on? Um, so just jump in on your mic and tell me. Home equity, please. Homeowners? Home equity. Oh, home equity. Okay. All right. What range do you want to search on? Let's say... Um... A hundred thousand dollar. Hundred hundred forty nine. Yeah, one hundred. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Okay, and we'll do homeowners. Renters don't have equity. All right. So, on USA's database in Ramsey that meets this criteria. Now again, this is their data. We'll see what we have. There's 348 homeowners in Ramsey on USA's national database that meets this criteria. And you can get mm -hmm. that list for $22.50. That's great. Um, that's just an idea of how that works. Mm -hmm. um, any other questions? I unfortunately have to jump to a another commitment, but Roberto can stay on and ask and answer any other questions that you have. I put my information in the chat, but if there's a couple less questions, Thank you. we'd be happy to, to uh, answer anything you have at the moment. Anybody? Thank you, great. Hey, Amanda, do I have to um, stop sharing now? Yeah. All right, Go so ahead. Stop my share. Share, and then Roberto can jump in and, and pull up anything for any other questions that you may have. Perfect. Uh, again, you know, thanks to everyone that jumped on today. Um, we really look forward to helping you out. Um, if you're doing any print and mail marketing right now and you're not doing it with us and you're not getting tracking and lead generation, we, we would love to talk to you and see what you're doing and, and show you how we think we can enhance that and, and, and get more value for, you know, for what you're already doing. All right. So again, thanks for your time. Um, and look forward to hearing for, from some of you, Roberto and myself, and hoping you uh, help you build and grow your businesses and build your brand. Thank Thanks you. Again, everyone. Thank you so much, Bill. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Thanks, Bill. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Bill. you. Right. So, Roberto. Yes. So, um, does anybody have any questions uh, with uh, yeah. uh, regarding anything? Uh, I would like to know exactly what kind of you know details about you get about that owner. You get the address. Do you get the name, of course, and do you get the phone number too? With that, uh, with targeted lists. Yes. With, with targeted lists, you 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 get. You don't get that information. Um, you get just the the address. So those addresses that Bill was just uh, um, showing us, you get those those uh, addresses for for that quantity um, that meet the criteria. Um, if you're more interested in get in in getting the information for possible leads. Then, if you do QR um, QR code tracking, then you'll get the information on whatever hits you get on the QR scans, QR code scans. So, if uh, if a potential um, a potential uh, uh, someone that scans the, the code, you'll get mm -hmm. on your campaign, uh, you'll get a hit 
and then once you click on it, you'll be able to be able to see whatever information is publicly available for that for that resident. Uh, whether sometimes you know it could be quite extensive, like phone numbers, age, um, whatever demographics are publicly available. Mm -hmm. And with the go ahead. Go ahead. Whatever whatever information you you uh, you have there it could be, you know, um, a potential lead for uh, some maybe a neighbor. Say you have a listing or um, a just sold postcard you send maybe uh, you know you need to send to the radius around that listing. Uh, you could potentially have another lead for uh, another neighbor that's, you know, maybe pondering, uh, you know, whether to put their house on the market and had shows, has showed enough interest that they took the time to scan your QR code. And then, you know, mm -hmm. you could, you know, um, reach out to them and, and inquire. Okay. You know, with, um, let me share my screen. Uh, Okay, and for some reason I cannot shoot my screen without quitting Zoom. Um, are you guys able to see anything? No, not yet. I mean, right now it sort of starts. Okay. Uh, how about now? It's just mm -hmm. in a white screen. White screen. Okay. How about now? Yes, now he's good. Okay. So any postcards that you create, uh, if with as part of our templates, I'm in my account right now, um, and yeah, I'm able to see a lot, lots of uh, templates here. Uh, any of these templates, um, you have or most of them, you have the ability to have QR code tracking and you'll see, you'll have this, this um, QR code tracking uh, icon here. Um, and you don't necessarily have to use the QR code tracking, but it's an extra feature that, that allows you to get, you know, potential leads. Uh, also another thing um, with postcards, any, any postcards that you want, but, um, you know, um, that you have here templates are, are editable to a certain degree. Um, they have, um, they have possible uh, variations as far as the front and the back. And some, some of them have um, a, um, a variation on, on the style. Um, but if the postcard is missing any information that you, may want to have such as maybe it doesn't you know include like a social media um address or handle um i'm here uh and i'm also on wednesdays like bill said but i'm also available any other time um and uh i could um customize it for you and then we can load it to your account so that you could uh order it same thing with uh property uh, brochures um Again, you know, um, I'm here available uh, if, if it's something that you guys are attempting to do, but you're not really sure and the template doesn't allow it, um, you know, you'd be able to, I'll be able to help that, um, uh, help you with it. Uh, any questions on that? No, thank you. Okay. Um, so let me just touch on uh, on uh, yet yeah, another thing with uh, mailings. Um, so um, just give me a here. So with mailings, 
with mailing lists. Um, you could do, um, Bill was mentioning here, you could do a radius, maybe around a, a uh, an address, or maybe a listing that you have. Um, free form like they showed you or select select a list. Uh, you could also upload your own list like Bill mentioned. And one thing that I wanted to mention is um, the, as part of the just listed and the just sold programs, the template that you, uh, that you get, uh, you'll get a notification, uh, notification such as this uh, on your email. Um, sure. So for example, um, this notification went out to uh, someone named Robert, um, an agent named Robert, or, well, it's Robert O'Keefe. <laughs> um, and um, so this is the style of the postcard. Uh, now this photo is being pulled from the MLS feed. Now, if you, you may, maybe you don't wanna to to use this photo, that is fully editable when you go to order your card. So, I mean, there's times that we get kind of like uh, strange photos uh, that just, let me see if I show, if I, uh, if I have one here that sometimes are not the best photos, but again, it's, it's being pulled from um, the last feed. So if you, you could choose uh, whatever you want and try to find a strange one here. Yeah, uh, like, like this, this is probably not, you know, um, the best photo to use on something like this. So you can go in there once you get the email notification and before you order your postcards, you could go in there and change that as well. Um, so um, just so you guys know, um, you know, if you get an, a, a, um, you know, an offer for that, it's not necessarily, you don't have to get it in that, in that way. So um, any other questions? I ask, um, how do you put, for example, I was trying to do a, you know, uh, a sample now, and uh, I would like to add the QR on one of the postcards. So how can I do that? So QR code, um, the QR code, if you go to your, um, if you go to your um, count settings. Yeah. Okay, and you go to website redirection. Mm -hmm. um, you you can um, you can customize it here. So whatever uh, website you want uh, that person once they uh, scan the QR code to go to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that custom. I updated. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then our system generates a custom um, QR code for that. Once oh, okay, you, gotcha. yeah. Once you you know you're in ordering process, you'll be able to 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 view uh, a proof and even test it out yourself. Gotcha. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, wanted to mention um, something else as well. Um, once you're on the order, uh, uh, also uh, that is uh, this location I just showed you guys is uh, like your default location. But for whatever reason, if you maybe say you have a landing page for this specific listing, uh, once you order uh, the postcard, your order ordering process of, of that postcard, you're able to change it. Uh, say you want to change it just for that individual uh, postcard. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention to you guys is um, in addition to property brochures and mailings of all kinds, you also offer other products and we're all, always in the process of uh, adding more and more products. So, I mean, we have business cards, we have door hangers. Um, there are some products that we, um, that we don't have in our store, but um, um, that I'm here and I'm available to, to help you guys with such as like uh, open house signs for sell signs, writers, all that stuff. So, um, 
if you're interested in that, please reach out to me and I'll email you like some samples that we can, we can get done for you. Um, we could also customize um, from scratch. If you guys have ideas uh, of something that you would like to, to, to use or if you saw something that you're interested in, I'm doing, um, we're here. Um, you know, uh, Prison Digital, um, we, uh, we also could, um, we also could, um, we have vendors that we work with that um, if it's something that's not our wheelhouse, we have contacts of whatever you are, are looking to do. Um, uh, another thing I wanted to mention to you, um, to you all is um, Command has um, some uh, postcards and designs and, and brochures and uh, a lot of stuff that maybe you guys might be interested in. But, um, Amanda, you uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I don't believe that Command has the um, ability to, for you to print those with a vendor. Uh, we could always print those for you. Uh, if you if you like, if you're able to download it, um, we could work with you to get it printed through our system. Um, same thing with, um, you know, with postcards. I believe they have postcards and designs. Um, and if you yourself have, you know, have some design ability and maybe you use Canva or, or, or anything like that, uh, you don't, you're not married to our uh, templates and our designs. You can use any, uh, any design that you create or that you have. So you, in that case, you would just be using, you would just be using um, uh, our uh, custom, um, for example, you would, go to um, postcard mailings and you would like um, say, let's see, uh, our standard size is like uh, eight and a half by five and a half. So you would do custom postcard. And then as you can see, we have various sizes and uh, you know, you would just load your, um, your artwork here. Uh, and um, one, another thing that, um, Bill did a mention is we could send, we have different types of, of mailings, of course, uh, standard mail, first class and EDM. Um, first class obviously is, is uh, costs a bit more, but uh, it's a quicker, you know, quicker delivery. Um, uh, standard mail is exactly that. Standard um, takes a little longer, but also cheaper in price. Uh, EDM, if those of you that are not familiar with EDM, it stands for every, uh, every door direct mail and basically it's uh, postal routes so if you send um, EDM is, is is the cheapest option um, but you're basically selecting mailing routes so a postman has a route say in the town of uh, Rutherford for example and he will leave a one of your postcards in every address on his route so it's not addressed to anyone specifically, but it's being dropped off at every address on that route. So it's a good tool to, uh, an expensive tool to blanket a certain area or a certain route, uh, part of town that you maybe uh, perhaps market to. Um, quantity, uh, the pricing of quantities, um, it's, it's, it, it comes down with obviously with great quantity, um, you know, um, first class, uh, this in this case, uh, this is a eight and a half by five and a half. So um, EDM has to be uh, a, uh, a minimum size of uh, eight and a half by six and a half. So in this case, you don't have the option for um, to send EDM at this size. But if you were to go back and um, if you were to go back and do, say you want to do like your own custom, you have your own custom EDM, um, just like that. And you could see here the sizes that are available. Any questions on the, any of the things that went over? No. Okay. Um, so, um, Okay, uh, if no one else has any questions, um, I'm going to leave my, uh, I'm going to leave my cell number here on the chat. Uh, and again, uh, I'm, I'm here uh, at the office uh, every Wednesday from nine to five. I'm also reachable uh, um, any other day. Um, 
Now let me uh, let me have my add my email here as well. If any of you are interested or would like to have further questions or any projects that you would like to do. Um, and uh, with that being said, um, I think that's it. I'd like to thank everybody for joining today. Um, I'd like to thank Amanda for um, putting this together. Um, and thank you, everyone. Thanks, everyone, so much. We really appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. So thank, thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.